Super Bowl 56 is all set. Let's go to Las Vegas and tag in John Murray from the Westgate Superbook. Johnny, Rams and Bengals, this opened three and a half. Now we're at four and a half pretty much everywhere. But the sharper money at your shop so far on the total, yes? Absolutely. We've seen a lot of sharp players go under, Sammy. We opened it at 51. We're all the way down to 48 and a half. Now we are talking with over a week before the game. You know where the public is going to bet. They don't come to Las Vegas to bet on the Super Bowl and root for nothing to happen. I still expect us to need the under on Super Bowl Sunday, but right now a lot of sharp money on the under has driven the number down. I need under 49. I need first quarter under, nine and a half, and I also bet scoreless quarter. So I want nothing fun to happen in this game. I hope nothing fun happens. You know, I'm a very fun guy, but not on Super Bowl Sunday. So one day of the year that I'm not a fun guy, I root for an incredibly boring game. I don't want anything exciting to happen. I want us to take all the money. So 30 pages, the prop packet you guys have posted at the Superbook. What is that process like with you and all the uh, creative minds that be putting these prop packets together? Uh, Creative minds is a nice way of putting it, isn't it? Uh, We we got a team that they're over in the convention area for two days. We clear out a room, put a conference table in there, catered food, very spoiled. And they spend about two days just arguing over the numbers for all the props It is actually a lot of fun, but it can be an excruciating process. Uh, This week is really busy for us. The props come out on Thursday, the Thursday, two Thursdays for the Super Bowl. And then the weekend is actually kind of slow as we ramp back up towards next weekend, of course. I love that you guys have this prop this year. Will Matthew Stafford catch a pass? Will Joe Burrow catch a pass? I mean, it's 30 pages of sports betting props for the Super Bowl. And you went Jason Tatum on a couple. What, Tatum points and rebounds against... Stafford attempts, I think. Yeah, Jason Tatum points and rebounds against pass attempts by Matthew Stafford. Also have Jason Tatum made three-pointers against Van Jefferson receptions. So for the Boston audience, no Tom Brady this year, no Patriots. We do have do have an opportunity to bet on Jason Tatum at the Superbook in Super Bowl props. That's wild because Tatum could score 20. He could also score 50, as we've seen a couple sure. times in the last year. All right, last question. Everybody at Nesson is dying to know Who does John Murray like for the coin flip? Heads or tails? Uh, The first roar of the crowd is always the coin toss. I actually bet on the coin toss many, many years ago. There was a book that had plus 105 on tails. And I said to myself, I got to bet that. It's a literal coin toss. And I can bet it at plus money. I bet 20 bucks to win 21 and I lost. I haven't bet the coin toss since. I mean, it was only 20 bucks. I just thought it was funny. This year, I think we'll be rooting for tails. The public seems to like to bet heads. It's always the first roar of the crowd, the first significant decision, the coin toss. Only in the Super Bowl do we have a significant decision before the game even starts. I was in the back of the book last year when you and Sammons looked at each other after heads and go, we just lost five figures on the flip. Oh, Oh, it's always fun. Uh, But it's there's that five figures on the Super Bowl is is really not not a huge deal. Uh, And you always want the book superstition. We want to lose the first decision sets us up for a good day. All right, there you have it. John Murray from the Westgate. Talk to you soon. All right, buddy.